Hi, I'm Rich Nelson. And I'm Joe Foley. We're going to teach you guys how to do a one-footed heel side 180. Two good tricks to learn before learning your one-footed 180 is the no comply and the 181 slide. Uh, these tricks are good to learn leading up to the one-footed 180 because both of them involve rotating your body 180 degrees and unweighting or taking your front foot off of the board. So, for your no comply, you're going to carve heel side and as you're doing that, you're unweighting your entire body so it allows you to take your front foot off smoothly, plant it, push the board around with your back foot, and right away switch. If you have a board with a kick tail, another good trick to learn is the 1180. It encourages you to get your knee higher up in the air, uh, and that's something you want to also do with the one footed 180s uh, as you get them down better. Uh, so it's good practice for getting your front leg up and also good practice for getting uh, your back foot to unweight. Uh, when coming into this trick, it really helps, at least in the beginning, to take it wider than you normally would. Uh, this will help you stay a little bit more comfortable going into it. Uh, so when you come into it, take it wide like you would doing a large 180. Uh, lift your foot up. It doesn't have to be very high at the beginning. You can keep your foot kind of low, but just get comfortable unweighting and lifting your front foot up. As you learn the trick, you can then uh, start taking the turn tighter and start lifting your knee higher up in the air. The smoothest way to do this trick is to do it all in one motion. Um, a lot of people you'll see like to do the 180 slide and lift their back foot up late and just stomp it down. If you carve into the slide and just unweight all at the same time, it'll allow you to bring your foot up nice and high. Take a look at this picture. The board's at about 90 degrees and the foot is at the, the height of its lift. My arms are up in the air, my front leg is up in the air. And all of that was a big motion going into the slide that allows the board to stay unweighted and it allows you to guide your back foot around to bring the board around 180. A nice approach to this trick is hanging your heel off the back of the board. Uh, this gives you a little bit more of a push uh, and a little bit more control so it'll help you get the trick more consistently. So when you go into it, keep your heel hanging off the board and swing it around and put most of the pressure onto the heel as you pop your uh, front foot up in the air and allow that to just guide the board and push it around to a full 180. After you start landing this trick more consistently at slow speeds, try it going a little bit faster. Once you have a little bit more speed in the mix, the slide becomes much more consistent and actually gets a lot easier to land consistently. After learning this, uh, you'll find that your no complies and blunt slides are easier, and it can also help with uh, other variations. So that's how you do the one-footed 180. The most important part to remember is to unweight and to commit to the trick. And remember, always wear your bucket.